This is Kathy from Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm unboxing what I think is a pen. I've got two pens on the way and I just checked the tracking for both of them and I didn't think either one was going to be here today. One was supposedly in Indiana and one was in California when I checked. So. I'm going to get some scissors for this in. Both of them, one's a, a clear demonstrator and one is a blue pen. I'm not 100% sure. They're both 78 G's. I think one is a plus and one is an original. I'm not 100% sure. wipe down the outside of the package. I'm going to wipe this down and kind of get my hands disinfected in the process. This is in different packaging than my green 78G was, so maybe this one's the plus. This is packaged well, that's for sure. My, yeah, this one's the demonstrator. This is the G plus. Wow. My 78 G, the green one, came from Hong Kong in a in an envelope. It didn't come in a box. The retail packaging was just a little plastic sleeve. And it came all the way from Hong Kong and was in perfect shape. That was amazing. And I can see this one comes with a Con 40 converter. Let's see. Wait, does this have a does it have a pull tab? Or here. Oh, this is a, a nice looking pen. Now, it it feels it's got the same weight. And it's got, I think it's the exact same pen. I think they just restarted making these. The reason it's called a plus in different colors. The originals were all opaque, I believe. I think they came in um, the green, blue, black, red, maybe. And these come in some translucent and demonstrator colors. Man, that is, I like the look of this. It's a medium nib also. Well, a lot of threads there. Looks just like, says the super quality medium. Let's see. Didn't think there was as much writing on this one. No, I think it's the exact. Looks a little bit different. It looks like this is maybe stamped or engraved. The writing is. And this one looks more like it's maybe laser etched on there. All right, but let's see. These are both medium nibs. Let's see how they compare. So I'm going to put the same ink in both of them. And I am 
going to ink it straight from the bottle. I didn't wipe off the box, did I, when I got it out of the package? I guess since I might be touching it later, go ahead and wipe my hands off in the box. I'm not going to wipe the pen. It's probably been in that box for quite a while. Now, people sometimes complain about the Con 40 converter. I kind of like it. This, if, if you use broad nibs or really wet nibs, I can see how maybe you wouldn't appreciate the a small ink capacity but with my fine nibs I, it just writes forever and these are medium nibs but they are pretty dry writers so the ink goes a long way okay that that was not a very full fill. I'll try that one more time. These are pretty skinny pins. I might need to tilt the bottle. I'm not sure how deep I'm getting down in this. These little small color verse bottles aren't very tall. And the opening's pretty narrow, but like I was getting ready to say, these are pretty narrow pins, so it fits in there okay. I just don't know how deep I was able to get down into the ink. But I've got enough ink in there to write. I love how these, they post just right for me. Let's compare. In my experience, pilot nibs have been pretty consistent, so let's see. All right, this was that's with this pen super smooth on this paper and this was Earl Grey in this same pen pretty still pretty smooth Earl Grey is kinda of one of those inks that not very smooth but let's see how this one compares super smooth, like glassy smooth. Let's see, this one's the demonstrator. And I don't know if it's because I filled this one from the bottle, but it feels quite a bit wetter. glassy smooth. That is pretty wet. Let's compare it to the green one. I can tell. This one's not putting down as much ink. I'm going to try something. Well, I may save that for another video. This one's getting kind of long. 
Um, both the nibs are super smooth. I'm going to try dipping this one in the bottle of the ink and see if it writes more like this one. All right. Oh, I said in my last video I was going to give this one to my sister, but I really like this one. I'll let her choose which one of these she wants. Oh, because I like both of them. And I've got a blue one on the way. The blue one is a fine nib. I'm curious to see how they compare. Let me put this up here just a little bit closer one time. Yeah, you can see the difference in it's the same ink in both of these. Colorverse pale blue dot. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to play with this a little bit. All right, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.